Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Two Aussie Thrifters. Uh, for those new to our channel, uh, my name is Brad. I'm Jazz. And together we are Two Aussie Thrifters. Uh, so we buy and resell in Australia on platforms like eBay. We started Depop recently as well. Um, and we're going to share with you 20 items that sold for us in December 2019. Last year. Yeah, crazy that we're in 2020 already. <laughs> and what we'll also do right at the end is I'll share with you the gross amount of sales we did for 2019. Wow. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll get up the first item here. So it's actually yours, Jasmine. Okay, we picked up a Dada men's jacket. It had heaps of zippers all over it, pretty unique style. We picked that up for $12 and we sold it on eBay for $70. So after the fees and the shipping that we have to pay, we made $40.90 profit. That was a nice little sale, that one. Uh, the next item we sold was this RM Williams men's three extra large polo shirt. Just a basic polo shirt with the stripes on the front. I picked up for $8, sold for $39.95. Um, leaving us a profit of eighteen seventy six, so not a huge profit, but a nice little turnover. Yeah, definitely. Um, we picked up in a Savers store a cycling jersey, which was a collaboration between Lululemon and Specialized. Picked that up for eight dollars, which was a reasonable price for the store that we found it in, and we sold that for fifty five dollars. So we made thirty one dollars and eighty five, and that was on a best offer. So we just accepted the offer that they sent through yeah. to us. It was only like a couple of days we had it listed. So yeah, <laughs> it was a quick sale. Uh, the next item we sold was this Funko Pop R2-D2 Gold and it was like the largest size one in the black box. Um, we picked that up in a local deal and we paid $5 for each pop. Uh, we sold it for $67.77. That was one uh, of the better ones. Yeah, so after all fees and shipping we made $41.11 on that one. Very nice. Um, we sold another jacket which was the RM Williams jacket that we picked up for $29 so sometimes we do pay up for an item if we're quite confident that it will sell for a good margin uh, and it did we sold it for $94.95 and we made $41.61 profit yeah that was a nice jacket like a blue sort of shell jacket it was quite nice uh, we also sold a pair of Doc Martens they were brown Love Doc um, Martens. we picked them up in one of our early videos for $16 um, we ended up selling them for $100, so we took a best offer on those ones. So after all fees and shipping, we made $58.15. Beautiful. Uh, RM Williams again, we do have quite <laughs> a bit of the RM Williams stock that is new with tags, and one of those pieces was this um, brown silk shirt. Mm -hmm. um, we picked it up for $18 and we sold that one for $99.95, so we made $60.96 on that shirt. Yeah, that's very nice. We're still sort of ticking them over, and that big lot that we just picked up, we're gonna do a little bit lower price, <laughs> um, but we're still selling them at that, that good price, so very happy with that. Uh, the next item was these Riker anti-stress shoes. They yeah. have those white ones, they're in really yeah, good condition. Yeah, they're perforated. Um, they're really different, but we picked them up for 16 bucks. Yeah. We sold them for $69.95. Uh, which left us with $36.86 profit after all fees and shipping. Very nice. Um, the next thing was a Nike sports bra. It didn't have the tags on it, but it was new. Mm. Um, and it was kind of one of the more rare prints that you can find. So we didn't have it listed for long. We picked it up for $5 in an op shop and we sold it for $38.95. So we made $19.94. That was yeah, a nice bra, and it's, it was still new, hey? Like it had yeah, it had the one. size tag on it, but not the um, the new tags. Uh, the next item was quite interesting, actually. Um, it was this Levi's sample bag, like that yeah. one that was made out of like denim material. Yeah, that had a belt on it. Um, we <laughs> sold this overseas. I think it ended up yeah. going to Russia. Um, so when we worked out the cost of goods on that lot, it was $8 per item. We sold this one bag for 70 plus post. Wow. So they paid postage on top of the $70. Yeah. Um, so we don't need to calculate any of the shipping because it worked out the same. So after all the fees and the cost of goods, uh, we ended up making $52.90 on that one bag, which paid for that whole lot. All of them. And was it a garage sale that we got those from? Yeah, garage sale trail. Oh yeah, no. garage sale trail. <laughs> we love it. Um, another of the RM Williams items that we sold was the women's moleskin jeans, and these ones were actually used, so we don't get all of them new. We do pick up second hand as well. Mm. Um, we pick them up second hand, second hand for around fifteen dollars, which is what these ones cost us, and we sold those for sixty dollars, so we made twenty nine twenty. Yeah. We always sell them really well, so we don't mind picking them up for that sort of price. Like there's so many in this list is because it is quite a big chunk of our store. Um, we sold this Ness Pimble Quest box game. Yeah. Um, so this is from that gaming lot we picked up recently. That was a really nice pickup. 
Um, I've put cost of goods down at $25 because that's probably what it would have worked out to. Obviously when we're buying bulk like that, it's hard to sort of aggregate cost, but that's what it would have worked out to be. We sold it for $62, so after all fees and shipping, we made $20.94 on that one item. All right, and it was fast as well. Oh yeah, super quick. This next one's pretty interesting. So we picked up a few bags full of mm. bisque doll heads from Savers. Yeah. It was ages and ages ago in one of our really early videos, um, but we picked up two bags of them for $20, and the cost for each head worked out to be about $2 each. We didn't list them for the longest time, but they are finally listed and they started selling quite fast. Mm. So with the cost of $2, um, we actually sold this particular one for $38.95 and we made $23.89, which pays for all the rest, just like the Levi's bags. So the rest of those doll heads don't owe us anything now, they'll just be gravy. And we also sold another one of them. Oh like yeah, we sold two now, I guess. A unique item. <laughs> uh, this next sale was a really great sale. So. Um, in the in-call, which was a long time ago now, there were some yes. Zebra scanners, like the ones that you put on the desk and the barcode scanners. Um, and we had about 12 of those initially and we sort of been selling one or two. I dropped the price a little bit and within a couple days we'd sold whatever we had left. And one person actually bought six of them. Yeah. So the total price ended up being $527 for the six. Yeah. Now, cost of goods was less than $10 each, but I'm gonna put them down at $10 each. So 60 bucks. Uh, so after all fees and shipping, we made $366.49 on that one sale. Yeah, that um, was probably actually more than that. Yeah, that was amazing. I was very happy to get rid of that many at once. So, oh yeah. <laughs> um, that cleaned them out. Yeah, I love when someone just bundles them together. <laughs> Um, we sold another jacket, which is interesting because it's yeah. all sales from December and I think I'm up to our third jacket. Um, this one was Swan Dry and it's a green virgin wool jacket from New Zealand, I believe. Yeah. Picked it up for 20 bucks and we sold it for $109.95. So after the fees, after the shipping, we made $63.66. Yeah, that was a nice little sale and something different for us as well. So. And really satisfying to jam into a small <laughs> satchel. Definitely. Uh, the next sale was another really big one um so we had i think four of these netgear transceivers um yes. i picked these up in an auction a long long time ago ages ago and i've just been sort of dropping the price dropping the price dropping the price and finally got a hit on them so they took all four they sent us through an offer um and they paid 716 dollars for all four so that was a nice little sale um they ended up only costing me about 50 dollars each when i bought them so that 200 dollars cost uh, after all fees and shipping, we made $410.92. So I had that, to refresh my app because I thought that it was a glitch, but <laughs> no, it was real. A great sale, um, and that definitely helped our numbers this month. Between yeah. that and the Zebra scanners. That's Absolutely, and we had to wait for both of those items to sell, but when they did, it was fantastic. Huge profit. Um, we sold another cycling jersey, which was a Castelli. Um, little the red scorpion dude. Look for the little red <laughs> scorpion. Um, these go really well for us. This one we paid $7 for and we sold it for $49.95 and we made $28.46 profit. Yeah, we love Castelli. We always pick it up when we find it in Absolutely. good condition. Absolutely, in good condition. Um, Double check. <laughs> check like the shoulders and the like, bottoms of the sleeve because if they come off the bike, it'll usually be the shoulder that gets scratched. Yeah, first. they get grazed. Um, and if the long sleeves, like the elbows and stuff like that as well. So check them out. Uh, the next item we sold was this really nice vintage 1996 Star Wars a New Hope um, oh, yes. t-shirt. Um, we got this from the collector a while back, paid $10, probably less than that actually because we got that whole lot yeah. very cheap. We'll say 10. Um, sold it for 70 bucks on an offer, so after all fees and shipping, we made 42 dollars Beautiful. Um, another one that we held on to for a long time before we listed it for no reason at all was a Paul Smith London uh, shirt with the French cuff, yeah. with the rainbow cuffs. Um, it got lost in our death pile, but we found it, we listed it, we paid $10 for it originally and we sold it for $60 the next day on an offer. I think it was Christmas Day actually, yeah. and we made $34.20. So check your death pile because that was a really nice shirt. How is that in there? <laughs> uh, the last item we sold this month in this lot um, was these men's billabong shorts. Um, we paid $10 for these and we sold them for $46.50. 
So after all fees and shipping, we made twenty-two forty-six on those. I think that was our third pair of board shorts that we yeah. sold in December. And so. they were new with tags. So we don't pick up board shorts a lot, but if they're new with tags, we will. We also sold a pair of unit this month. That were yeah, new and also a pair of uh, Mambo that was specifically the Kirk's Lemonade yeah. print. So there's a few that are worthwhile. Definitely. Um, so that's a little bit of a cross section of what we sold in December. Um, for the whole month of December, we sold 199 items. Uh, for a total sales price of $10,992.92. Um, and that left us an average sale price of $55.24. Cool, that's kind of what we try to maintain. Yeah, um, so that's pretty much where we've been sitting for most of the year, between like 50 and 60. We're interested to see what 2020 brings, but I'm pretty happy with that month. Okay, so now what we made for the whole entire year. So from January 1st to December 31st this year. For so the calendar year. We grossed $107,156.61. We reached our yeah. goal. So we had a goal of 100,000 this year, um, yeah. which was, we thought probably a little bit above what we would achieve, but yeah. um, we've made it and cleared it. Um, so I guess goals for 2020, uh, about 130,000 on sale in sales. Um, and we also want to keep growing our YouTube channel with you guys. So yeah, definitely. Thanks heaps for coming along. Uh, make sure you smash that thumb for us. It really does help us um, get us a few more views and push us up in the search ranking. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Um, leave us a comment and make sure you subscribe. And uh, we look forward to a great 2020 with all you guys coming along with us. Definitely. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Twelvey Thrifters. Thank you. Bye. See ya.